I'm going to explain 100 HTML tags. I will start with very basic HTML and then we'll cover the very unique and rare HTML tags. The first HTML tag I'm going to explain is video tag. It is used to run a video that is inside your project or in the cloud. Inside video, we are going to use another HTML tag that is source. Inside src attribute of source, we are going to provide the path of video. Width and height attributes inside video tag are used to set dimensions. And then the controls attribute is used to add the controls inside your video. Audio HTML tag is to run audio in your browser. Same as video tag, we have to add source tag insert audio tag. And then provide path of file inside src attribute. Finally, add controls attribute inside audio tag. Then you can run the audio in your browser. Next is very basic and important tag, the HTML tag. All other HTML tags has to be placed inside these to be able to render on the browser. Head tag contains metadata about HTML document. It is always written at top level inside HTML tag. Body tag contains all the HTML tags that will be visible in the browser and it is written below the head tag inside HTML. Meta tag contains the metadata of HTML document. It contains name attribute that defines the type of metadata and the content attribute that contains actual metadata. So this meta tag contains description of document. We can also define more meta tags for our HTML. For example, in this meta tag of type keywords, we can define a content attribute that can contain multiple keywords that will be very beneficial for search engine optimization. Title tag defines title of our document, so anything we write inside it will be visible in the tabs of our browser. Another very interesting HTML tag is SVG. It is used to draw vector based graphics inside browser in XML format. Suppose we want to draw a circle in SVG so we will use the circle HTML tag. Then we will write a bunch of attributes like CX, CY, radius, stroke and stroke width then fill color. As you can see in browser SVG circle is created. Next we are going to cover heading tags. H1 is used to write heading or title in your page. It is bold by default, it has a display of block, font size of 2M and it has margin start and end of 0.67EM. Heading 2 is little bit smaller than heading 1 and it has a font size of 1.5M. Heading 3 is even smaller and it has a font size of 1.17EM. Then after that H4 tag is even smaller, H5 heading tag is even more smaller, H6 heading tag is smallest in all of these. P tag is used to write paragraphs. This is used when you want to write longer text in your page. One thing to note is that paragraph tags has top and bottom margins. A HTML tag is to define the links in your web page and it is also called anchor tag. In the href attribute you can provide a URL for a web page. Now if you click on Wikipedia link you will be taken to Wikipedia page. Image tag is used to show images in your web browser. Suppose I have an image in my project folder. To show it in the browser, you have to put relative path in src attribute. Also in alt attribute, you can give any name to this image for better accessibility. Div tag is used to define a division or section in your HTML page. It is used to contain different HTML tags. It is one of the most used HTML tags and is commonly used to contain any type of HTML content. Span is inline container that is mostly used with texts. By inline container, I mean it can be wrapped inside another HTML tag. This can be used to span a text, character or a sentence inside the same line as other text. The benefit of using span tag in this ways that you can style a particular text. UL or unordered list is used to sort the items where order of items is not important. You have to also use li tag also known as list tag to actually render the list item. This will show a dot in your browser. Here for example I have written fruit names and they can be written in any order. OL tag also known as ordered list is used to order the items in an ordered way. Also you have to use li or list tags and they will be rendered in numbers. Here I have written a schedule inside li tags that has to be in an order so it is rendered in the numberings inside the browser. Table is very important HTML tag that is used to render the data in a tabular form. First inside the table is thead also known as table head. This is used to contain th tags also known as table headers. Here for example I have written two headings under th tag inside thead. After thead there is t body or table body tag. This is used to contain tr or table rows and all table data is written inside t body. Inside tr you have to write td tags also known as table data cells. Here I have used two table data inside single table row. If you want to add more table data, you have to add more table rows and inside them you can place different data items. Form is also a very important HTML tag that is used to get information from user. This is the information that you want to get from your user. After label, input tag is used where the users can input their details. Then you have to provide type attribute for your input. To connect input with label, you have to provide id attribute inside input and then provide the same id inside for attribute inside label. 
Input can be of many types, for example, you can create radio input, checkbox input or submit input. Button tag is to simply create a button. You can write any text inside button and it will be displayed in the browser. Also, you can style this button in any way you want with the custom styles. Option tags inside select are used to display drop down items, currently it's not showing any value. Here I have added a bunch of fruit name inside option tags and as you can see, they are rendered inside this drop down list and I can select any one of them. Also after that, you need to add value attributes inside each option html tag. It is also recommended to use a label tag with select tag. Then you can connect this select html tag and label html tag by providing the same values inside id and for attributes. Text id html tag is to define multi-line input text box. You can add some text inside this and it will be rendered inside this text area and you can also scroll up and down if you want to. You can define custom rows and columns for your text area with rows and columns attribute. One thing to remember is that the text written inside this text area html tag is defined by nature so anything you write inside this text area and if you then refresh your browser your text will reset field set is html tag that is specifically used inside form it is used to render a border around multiple label and input tags and will also act as a container for them legend tag is used to define a title for a particular field set inside form script tag is used to embed javascript or external javascript files in html inside this you can write actual javascript for example here i am getting an element by id text and i am then setting inner html to hello javascript so here this p tag has id text so its inner html will be converted to hello javascript alternatively you can create a javascript file and write a javascript code inside this then inside src attribute of script tag you can define the path of this javascript file style tag inside head is to apply css styles for html elements here for example i have a bunch of p tags and i want to apply css property of font weight bold for all p tags so that i can do that in style tag link tag defines the relationship with an external resource and it is used inside head. Suppose there is a separate CSS file I have created inside my project. To establish a link of this CSS file with this HTML file using link tag, you have to use rel attribute and provide style sheet and also href attribute and provide the relative path of your CSS file. Then a style inside whole HTML will be applied. Header tag is used to define a header for whole page or for a particular section. It can be used as a container for multiple links for your navbar. Also you can use this tag as a header for a particular section or an article. Now HTML tag is used to contain multiple navigation links. Here I have defined multiple navigation links using anchor tag inside nav HTML tag. Main HTML tag is also very important for SEO as it contains the main content of your document. It may contain an article, a blog post or any other important information. Section tag simply defines a section. It can act as a container for any piece of information and you can easily define multiple sections. Article tag actually defines an independent self-contained content. Main purpose of article tag is to wrap different articles inside your html and you can easily wrap all your articles blogs or posts inside these tags it is mostly used to render a sidebar for your website footer tag is used to define a footer for your html document or your website it usually contains a content that has to be rendered at the bottom of your page iframe tag is used to embed an external web page inside html you have to provide a website address inside src attribute here for example i have provided the link for wikipedia.org and as you can see in the browser a wikipedia page is rendered canvas tag can be used to draw graphics using scripting here i have used script tag to write javascript here id of canvas is provided and we can get this canvas through its id inside javascript and after that you can create any shape you want for example here we have created a circle b tag is used to define bold text i tag is used to italicize the text u tag is to underline the text strong tag is also used to make the text bold em or also known as emphasize is also used to italicize the text mark tag is used to mark or highlight a text Del tag is to show a text as deleted. It is very similar to strike through. INS tag is to show an inserted text. It is very similar to underline tag. Code tag is to show a code snippet in a particular way. For example, here I have written a JavaScript code and in the browser it is written in a code format. Pre tag is used to show a pre-formatted text. Very unique feature for pre tag is that it will reserve the white spaces and line breaks. Blow code is to define a section that is quoted from another source. You can also provide a URL inside site attribute and can also write a text inside this tag. HR tag is used to draw a horizontal line. It can be used as a thematic break between different sections. Sub tag is used to define a subscriptor text. Here you can see I have used sub tag inside p tags and the browser this is rendered a little bit above the text. In a similar way sub tag is used to define a subscriptor text. Here I want to write the chemical formula for water so I have written the two inside sub tag 
and h and o inside p tag so in the browser as you can see h2o chemical formula is written a double b r tag or also known as abbreviation used to define an abbreviation or an acronym here abbreviation tag is used inside p tag to show the abbreviation for world wide web so it is written inside title attribute and inside abbreviation we have written www so in the browser as you can see www is rendered inside dots site tag is used to define a title of a work here the movie avatar view of water is a work of james cameron so that's why it is written inside site tag and in the browser as you can see avatar view of water is italicized q tag is used to define short quotation and in the browser the text is written inside quotation marks time tag is used to define a specific time or a date time time tag contains the date time attribute that contains the actual date and time inside time tag you can write the event name that happened on this particular date time the date time attribute of this element is used to translate the time into machine readable format so that browser can offer to add date reminders through the user's calendar and search engines can produce smarter search results dfn tag is used to define a definition term and the text inside this is written in italic form kbd is used to define keyboard input inside this you can write any keyboard shortcuts or any keyboard key SAMP tag is used to define a sample output from a computer program. While tag is used to define variables, it is very beneficial when you want to write mathematical expressions in browser. Ruby tag is used to define a Ruby annotation. RT tag is used inside Ruby tag to define an explanation of characters. BTI tag or bold direction isolation tag isolates a part of text that might be formatted in a different direction from other text outside of it. WR tag defines a possible line break opportunity. Suppose you have a very long word and you want to break it at a specific part, then you can and write that part inside wpr tag then a line break will be added in the browser at this particular part progress tag represents the progress of a task inside this you can provide a number for max attribute and value attribute max is the maximum value of your progress bar and the value is the percentage up to which it is completed meter works same like a progress and it represents a scalar measurement within a known range here the same max and value attributes are used max is the maximum value of this meter and value is the completed percentage details tag defines additional content that the user can view or hide summary tag defines a visible heading for details element so you can show or hide the content of details dialog is for displaying the dialog box or window inside web page you need to write the actual content inside dialog tags and you also need to write the open attribute to actually show the dialog box template tags defines a container for content that should be hidden when the page loads slot tag can be used inside template tag and it defines a placeholder inside a web component shadow tag is very rarely used tag and it defines a shadow dom subtree br tag is used to define line breaks between html elements as you keeps on adding more br tags more line breaks will be added small text is used to write the text whose size is smaller than normal text search tags surround the search form with the search element suppose you have defined a form that are using for search you can then wrap this form inside this search tag it doesn't render anything in the browser but you can style it using css output tag represents the result of a calculation here we have a form tag that is doing some calculations using javascript we have a input tag one of type range and another is of type number and we have an output tag that will show the exact output of this calculations as you can see in the browser when we change the values inside slider and inside the input tag the output is showing the calculations in real time address tag is specifically used to show the address and in the browser it is shown in the italic form column group tag is used to display one or more columns inside table column group tag inside the table is specifically used to style the columns here we have used style attribute to apply the styles and the span tag is used to specify the number of columns on which we want to specify the styles to style individual columns inside table you can specify more column tags and then style them menu tag defines an unordered list of content and it is used with li tag menu tag can be used as an alternative to ul tag and browser will treat both of them equally object tag can be used to show an external resource you can use it to show an image that is placed inside your project it can also be used to show a video file or an audio file but it is recommended to use an image tag to display an image a video tag to display video Video and audio tag to display audio. Param tag is used inside object tag and it is used to fiddle with the controls. Opt group tag is used inside select and it is used to group the related options. In the browser inside drop down you can check these options are grouped. T foot tag or also known as table footer is used inside table and it is used to group the table footer content. Table footer tag is always used at the bottom of the table and it is used 
list below the table hand and then table body tag and here we have used it to show the sum. Tracks inside video are formatted in WebDT format. Data list specifies a list of predefined options for an input element. Data list tag is used with input tag and you have to provide the same value for ID and list attributes. Inside data list tag you can define bunch of option tags with the value attributes. In the browser you can see a list of options is rendered inside input tag so you can choose any option you want. DL is used to define a description list. Inside DL tag you can use DT and DD tags to show the list in a specific way.